Today, let us study the words of God together. Let's take a look at the words in Revelation chapter 20, verse 9. It reads, They marched across the breadth of the earth and surrounded the camp of God's people, the city He loves. But fire came down from heaven and devoured them, and the devil, who deceived them, was thrown into the lake of burning sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet had been thrown. What will happen to them? They will be tormented day and night, forever and ever. If we don't preach the gospel, the future of mankind will be just like how it is described in the book of Revelation chapter 20, verse 10. They are destined to go to the place of punishment, where they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Therefore, shouldn't we save these people who are destined to go to that horrible place and guide them to receive salvation, leading them to the kingdom of heaven? Isn't this why God tells us to preach? Even though all the work of the gospel is done by God, we must at least walk with God by carrying out the mission of preaching. Since mankind is destined to go to the fiery lake of burning sulfur, God helps us so that we would not have this kind of miserable future. Let's turn to Revelation chapter 21. Revelation chapter 21, verse 1. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and He will live with them. They will be His people, and God Himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more. What will there be no more of? Death. There will be no more mourning or crying. What else will not be there? It says, there will be no more pain. For the old order of things has passed away. There will be no pain. If you have ever been hospitalized, you must know how painful and miserable it is to be sick. God commands us to lead all mankind into God's arms so that all enter the glorious world where there is no more pain, no more illness, no more suffering, and no more agony. As you know, if you have ever had a job, there is not a single occupation in the world that does not require any effort. Everything requires effort. However, what about working with God in the gospel? It is so easy because we are simply participating in what God has already prepared. It is not that we have to carry a heavy load or work all night sweating buckets. But all we need to do is just open our mouths and preach the words of truth. How easy is this? If we carry this out, God will open the hearts of people even before we go. This is the gospel that we are preaching now. If we do not carry out such an easy mission, the future of all mankind will be gloomy and bleak. Not only the future of mankind, but also our own future will be gloomy and bleak. This is the reason why God opens the way for us to preach and gives us the opportunity to resemble God who preached first. For us to resemble God, He appointed the early morning prayer time. For us to resemble God, He tells us to be humble. For us to resemble God, He tells us to endure temporary suffering. God could have made it so that we do not suffer in our lives. However, God wants our life to resemble that of Christ, who walked the thorny path and sacrificed Himself on the cross. Sometimes, God places a little bit of hardship on our way to the kingdom of heaven. However, can't you see that God is making us complete and perfect through these sufferings? God wants us to walk that path of suffering. 
so that we may resemble God in every way. God wants us to resemble Him in every way, in keeping the Sabbath, the Passover, in all of God's commandments, also in preaching the gospel and praying early in the morning, remembering that we are all in the process of being created to resemble God. Let us be the children who walk the path that moves the hearts of father and mother. Hoping all of you have received the grace of God through these words. Let me conclude today's sermon. Thank you very much.